Hey, it's Billy. And it's Pat. And, and we, we finished, finished week two, two of, of the whole 30. 30. No murders again. Nope. Okay, Billy. Yes. End of week two. Check in. How do you feel? Uh, I feel agitated this yes, week. Yes, same. I didn't feel it the first <laughs> week, but the whole second week I felt just annoyed because I want to, I just want to go do things that I like to do and eat things that I want to eat. Yeah, I think the hardest thing is the socializing. And what do you do when you like go see friends? You go drink if you drink, or you go out to eat, or you go have a snack. And it's, we can't do any of that. So, and I, yeah, it's hard. Like we live in a city and we have, you know, right at our front doorstep, there's a lot of things that we can walk and do. What is it like for people that are in the suburbs that maybe don't have that fast access to that, so they tend to be at home a little bit more, they tend to cook at home normally anyway. I feel like it might be easier for someone that isn't in an urban area. Yeah, or or is it, no, are we completely wrong? We, we could don't be. Know. Who knows? I don't know. Let us know if you've done it before and, and tell us where you live. The good thing about living where we live though, being that we are in a city and things are walkable, is that we can keep ourselves busy and yeah. we can easily just like walk up to the store when we run out of food or when we feel like we need something to do. We, it takes a long time to walk we there. Don't need so the big halls. Time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but we did a big haul. We did. Uh, we went and got all organic meat and a lot of it at the grocery store mm -hmm. and it was expensive and we were kind of like, oh my gosh, but it really was worth it, yeah. I think. Yeah, everything tastes amazing. And I mean, everything does taste amazing in this diet because you're, just you're, happy to be eating. you're so limited <laughs> with what you can eat that you're just so happy with it, exactly. Uh -huh. yeah. Another thing that has been super helpful for us is what's inside uh, bag number one. Da -da -da -da. You this is see. our CSA farm share. <laughs> Look, we got an onion, squash, beets. Wow, exciting. Lettuce and green beans. Yeah, so we signed up for a farm share, a CSA this summer, so once a week, uh, we get this big bag of vegetables that we split with our friends, and it's been perfect uh, with our Whole30 because... It gives us the produce we need. Yeah. Without having to go to, to the it. store. We get all of our veg, and we just have to really go buy the fruits and the meat. So what would you say was your biggest takeaway from week two, Billy? Uh, that I need support from someone because it's very, you know, I could just give up on this and just eat what I want or have a beer, but it's nice to have someone, and they say that when you do this, Whole30 that you should have someone that you're, oh, yeah. you know, supported by. Mine was, I think, the same from week one, and it's like, be prepared with food, because I don't know what happened, but a couple days during work, I didn't bring enough with me for lunch, and my energy, like, died and then you I didn't raged. have protein. Yeah, when, when you forget to bring enough food, and you're like, I just want to go eat a sandwich that, at the deli. That's we're not slipping. Street. No, we're not. no, no, we're not. That's the good part of this. It's pretty easy not to slip, but there are so many temptations. Yes. The ring is not on. That's because I'm cooking dinner right now and I had eggs all over them. And I'm smelling the dinner that you're cooking I right know, now. I know, so I know the alarm's going go off for it. That. Okay, so let's wrap this up. Yeah, so thanks for eat. all of your support. Mm -hmm. We appreciate it. It helps us more than you know. So thanks for all your comments. Uh, we're going on to week three. Yes. God bless. All right, guys. <laughs> My <laughs> see, babies. See you next time. Bye. Bye. No one likes beats. I do.